Okay, the last thing we need to do for our template is get our um, thumbnail image that will go on the back end of our um, Joomla site uh, in the, the um, templates area. So according to our XML file here, we've told the XML file that there's going to be a file called template underscore thumbnail dot PNG, which is a little image of our what our template's supposed to look like. And it's supposed to be in the main folder. And I've already done it. Okay, so there is my little image that I created right here, template underscore thumbnail dot PNG. If I double click on it, open it up, see it's just a tiny little thumbnail image of what the website's going to look like. Well, how did I do that? Well, I'll show you. I um, have the Firefox browser open where I have it, the what the, um, the finished template's going to kind of look like. And so just do a print screen, a screen capture. So I did a um, screen capture, right? I hit the print screen button on my keyboard, basically. And then I opened up Photoshop, and I went File, New, and clicked OK. And then I went Edit, Paste, and it pasted it in my screen capture. Then grab your Crop tool and crop just to the image of your template, like so. Okay, so I got that, right? And I hit Enter, and that crops and gives me an image, a little thumbnail image of my template, right? It's a little bit um, wide. So what I could do is I could collapse this a bit. Since my template's fluid, I'll collapse that a bit and do it again. Hit print screen. Okay, and this will be better. Yeah, I'll like that. Print screen, and then hit File New, and click OK, and then Edit Paste. Okay, and then get your Crop Tool, and crop just the image that you want. Okay grab these handlebars to adjust it. All right, when you're happy with it, you hit enter. And now there's your image, right? It's still a little bit long, so I'm going to crop a little bit off the right. All right, that looks better to me. So now I'm going to change the size. Image, image size, and make sure that constrained proportions is checkmarked, resample image is checkmarked, and change the width to 211 pixels and click OK. And now it's this big, but if you take your zoom tool, it's this 50%. You see it says 50% right here. You can zoom in twice to 100%, and that's actually how big it is. OK. File, save for web and devices, and save it as a PNG file, 8-bit PNG file, and hit Save. And I'm going to replace the other one that I have, so I'll highlight that and then hit Save and Replace. And then I'll do it again for my other folder. File, Save for Web, because I like this one better. And Save, and I'll go to my other CSS Samples folder and hi click on that. So the name is template underscore thumbnail dot PNG. Important to give it the same name and replace. And so now I'm all set. I can close Photoshop and now when um, when we do the install of our template all of these files will be there when the template tries to install and all of these positions will be there too and will be good. Alright so I finished all that put in all the areas that I needed and it's on to the next thing. Okay, it's time to test out our finished template and see if it worked. Okay, so what I've done is I've got an installation here of WAMP Server 2.0, which installs uh, Windows, Apache, well, it installs Apache, MySQL, and PHP, and it's for Windows, so that's the acronym WAMP, Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP. And if I go to the WW directory in my WAMP Server 2.0 installation, I've got a test site called Test2 gone over this before and 
this is what my test site uh, looks like. Hold on, let me show you. This is what my test to website looks like. I refreshed it. Um, you know, it's just got like a little placeholder logo that I had made and, you know, just it's we've been using it to just test out Joomla installations and stuff like that. I've got some menu here on the left and I put in a I dropped in embedded a YouTube video into the main content area into the main article and um, we've been using it we made a poll in previous uh, tutorials so it's ready to go and I've logged in on the administrative back end to it so there's the administrative back end to test site 2 front end test site 2 back end test site 2 and we want to uh, try out our template that we created so if I go to the CSS samples folder I need to zip up and compress all of these um, files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and uh, I don't want to just get the whole folder and compress the whole folder. I want to compress all of these files. So I select them like that, right click on them, send to compress zip folder. And when I did that, it makes a uh, folder called template details dot zip I'm gonna change the name here to the name of my template which is CSS underscore samples dot zip so that's the name of my template okay so now I can go into the back end of Joomla I can go extensions install and I can browse for it so I'll browse for that file and I'm going to go into the CSS samples folder where I have my zipped uh, zipped file here and double click on that and then just hit upload file and install and if the template is well there it is install template success now if you have a problem you'll get some output that the template failed on installation but I've got uh, the um, install template success so now to see it all I have to do is go to extensions and by the way if you did get a failure um, oftentimes the failure is because your template details XML file doesn't have all of the files accounted for that are actually in the folder so if you have a problem it's usually related to this area right here these file paths or these file name um, it's all have to these files all have to be inside that folder so you have to go back to your template uh, details.xml file and look at it very closely if you have a problem but now what I can do is I can go to extensions template manager and I can click on there it is CSS samples notice when I hover over it I get that little thumbnail that I created these other um, templates have thumbnails but so does mine and I can check mark it and I can hit default and now this will be the default template and if I go back to home and refresh the window we'll see how our template came in and you'll see there it is there's my template and you'll see that it's um, here it is it's doing some funny stuff <laughs> so uh, it needs to be styled correctly so it's not quite there but you can see that there is left menu items here on the left right and so it's not quite styling correctly but um, it just needs a little work and but that's the core of it you can see the logo came in the right image came in the main content area notice how the main article dropped right into the main content area on the template so it was a success it just needs some styling